So ASUS's motherboard lineup based around the upcoming X570 chipset has been leaked out over at Video Cards. The new product family, which will be replacing the existing X470 motherboards, will support AMD's next generation Ryzen 3000 series processors, which are scheduled to launch around the mid of 2019. The ASUS X570 motherboard lineup consists of at least 12 products, which would be featuring the new X570 chipset. Now, X570 is confirmed to be aimed at the high-end market, but there would also be mainstream and entry-level products based on the B550 and A520 chipset, as was released with each previous generation chipsets. So coming to the products themselves, it looks like Asus will be primarily focusing on their ROG series, which is split in their enthusiast ROG Crosshair and the more gaming-focused ROG Strix line of products. There's also the Prime, Tough, and Pro Series motherboards, but as stated, the ROG series makes up most of the X570 family so far. So let's list out the ASUS X570 boards that have been leaked. The ROG Crosshair 8 Formula, the ROG Crosshair 8 Hero, the ROG Crosshair 8 Hero Wi-Fi, the ROG Crosshair 8 Impact, the ROG Strix X570e Gaming, the ROG Strix X570f Gaming, the ROG Strix X570i Gaming, the Prime X570p, the X570 Pro, Pro WS, X570 Ace, which is actually one I'm very interested in, being a workstation class board, the Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi, and the Tough Gaming X570 Plus. Now looking at the lineup, we can note that the X570 lineup would be the first to feature a Formula Series motherboard for Ryzen CPUs. Previously, AMD released their ROG Crosshair 5 Formula, which was based around the AMD FX or AMD 990FX chipset which was AM3 plus socket, but there hasn't been a formula version for the AM4 platform. ASUS did introduce their ROG Crosshair 6 Extreme on the X370 platform, but formula series would be a nice addition to the X570 platform. Other than that, all previous models that were based on the X470 chipset would be getting an X570 update. And while this list would be the initial lineup, more models can be added later on. As we saw with X470, there are a few features for the Ryzen 2000 series processors which were only supported by new motherboards such as Precision Boost Overdrive and XFR 2.0. And there's no doubt that the AMD Zen 2 based Ryzen mainstream processor family would come with new features, but the main highlight would be the support for PCIe Gen 4. The X570 platform would be all PCIe Gen 4 solution, which means this would most probably be the first consumer platform to feature support for the new PCIe standard. That, however, doesn't mean that the AMD Ryzen 3000 series would only be compatible on X570 boards, since just like last time, the new CPUs will be backwards compatible with X470 and X370 boards too, and new BIOS firmware has already started rolling out on existing motherboards. They certainly won't display the same feature set as available on the newer launch of the X570 lineup, but would feature fully stable functionality for users who just want to drop their CPU into their existing PC without the hassle of upgrading the motherboard and everything else from scratch. So tell us, if you're already on an AM4 motherboard, are you going to keep what you have or are you going to look at stepping things up? I for one have the Crosshair 6 Hero, but the idea of a new formula board may convince me to trade it up. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.